Greetings, family. Everyone knows how I love Maladoma Patrice Somme. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I talk about him all the time. So here I am looking in my book. This book is entitled The Healing Wisdom of Africa. This is one of my favorite books. It was a task and a labor of love for him to write this book. And I am so grateful. So I opened it up and here I came to this wonderful passage. And I thought to share it with you because I'm hoping that you could tap into a memory that would inspire you and make you see just how real this spirit world is. So here I go. It is useful to remember the subtle things that one was aware of as a small child. The memory of being tucked into bed at night by your parents, who turned the lights off as they left your room, followed by the appearance of a loving being who nourished your imagination, just as fairy tales do, cannot and should not be forgotten. Most of us will realize that we had a relationship with the parallel reality that surrounded us in the geography where we were born, a reality that could both contradict what we observed among the adults who surrounded us, as well as attract our attention more than the one the adults were trying to instruct us to become aware of. This remembrance of the parallel world of our childhood is the place we can go to reestablish our connection with the natural world, the connection between us and the geography of our birthplace. I found that passage to be profound because it brought me to a place. Yeah, it really did. It, it made me reconnect with a memory from my childhood. I remember when I was a little girl, mostly when my cousin slept over by my house, we would lay in the dark and we would ask questions over and over and over to God. It was the thing that we did. We looked forward to turning out the lights and just asking questions over and over and over. I can't remember the questions we asked, but I just know we just felt that something was listening to us. And you know what? We weren't even afraid. No, we weren't. I think we felt like a comfort, like something was there. And then we would just fall asleep. But it was something that we did every time my cousin slept over when the lights were out. And as you and I know, when the lights are out and the room is dark, that's when the spirit is most present. And it gives me a feeling of comfort knowing that the purity and the clarity that you have as a child, the innocence, you feel that closeness to the spirit world, the world that you were once a part of that you lived in before you came into flesh, the world in which we will all return to.